Hello everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, Pyramid Personality Integrator Updates. My name is Katherine Wong, and I'll be your moderator. I work in the training and development team here at MHS Multi Health Systems. I am pleased to introduce today's speaker, Elnaz Razania. Elnaz is our research scientist on the Talent Assessment R&D team, and she's here today to share all the exciting updates she has been working on for the Pyramid Personality Integrator Reports. Thank you, Catherine. Hi, everyone. In this webinar, I'm going to give you an overview of what's changed in the updated Pyramid Reports. Uh, first, I will walk you through the overall approach we took regarding the Pyramid Report changes. Then I'll share with you the changes that happened throughout both client and coach reports. Then I'll walk you through all of the exciting changes to the client and coach reports page by page and explain the rationale behind those changes. And at the end, Catherine will walk you guys through training updates. To give you an overview of the framework that we use to redesign the Pyramid reports, there are three main changes to the updated reports compared to the original. It's simpler, more user-friendly, and more practical. The new report is simpler in so many different ways compared to the original one. We use simpler interpretation. We also added more behavioral examples so the client uh, can understand the result much easier. We also changed the layout of the report, added more bullet points to the report so user can access the, the content much more easier. And also we added more tips on how to improve their flexibility and the areas in need of development to increase the practical application of the report. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the changes to the report that we made um, throughout the cli both client and coach reports. So it's the first thing we added a progress bar on top of all of the pages. So all client knows that where they are and what is coming next. The next change is uh, we remove the Jungian terms in the client report. So for example, instead of um, using the term attitude, we explain simply what that, that term means. Also, we try to use uh, more gender inclusive language in the coach report. So instead of referring to your client as he or she, we used um, they. The other change is removal of the term part one, part two, because we heard it's confusing for the clients. So instead of part one, they're gonna see Pierman personality section. Instead of part two, they're gonna see Pierman flex index section. Also, we changed the circle foot direction to make it align more with the Pierman model. So um, for the EST, you're gonna see the counterclockwise field. For I, N, and F, you're gonna see the clockwise field. Um, so basically, these, these, are, these are the general changes um, to the both Pierman um, client and, and coach reports. Now I'm gonna walk you guys through the, cli uh, the client report updates page by page. The first page is the introduction to the Pierman report. And um, for the revised version, we changed the content and we changed the layout of this page to uh, make sure the language is simpler and also the order is aligned with the flow of the report. We created two extra pages um, to explain the components of Pyramid model as it flows and also is easy to show it to customers and it set a foundation for the rest of the report. So what you see on these two pages, we added a progress bar on top of the page. Um, we actually uh, explained the overall functions and also the mental functions. So we added more definition of these components of the report. And also we added uh, individual codes for the mental functions. We made these pages optional so you can turn it on and off. We're hoping with these additional changes we address um, the client's needs for more explanation around mental function, which is simple and easy to understand and also is set the foundation for the rest of the report. The next is how to use this report. And the feedback that we heard about this page is, um, you know, is the text is heavy, the majority of the client confuses this page with their own results. So we changed the layout. Uh, we gray out the graphs here so they don't confuse it uh, with their own res results. And also we try to add more bullet points so they can add um, access to the information more easy, easily. And then we made this page optional so you, you guys can turn it on and off. 
And uh, we are hoping that with this uh, more user-friendly design, you can access the information easily. And also, it's less confusion around the sample graphs. For the overview of overall functions, what is new here is we added the combination of um, natural letters and demonstrative letters on top of this page. And um, as you can see, uh, at the bottom of the, um, these combinations, there is three bullet points that explains uh, what each combination means. And the reason behind this idea is to engage the clients with the tool at the beginning of the re report. So let them go to the details in the subsequent pages if they choose to. Another exciting addition to the client report is the new page that is overview of mental function scores. So we heard the feedback from coaches that mental function has so many layers, they can't fit all of those information in one hour session. Therefore, we created this page, which is completely new, summarizes all of the mental function data on one page in order to make it easy for clients to see the whole picture. It summarizes all of the key points for the coaches and clients. So, you know, it, this can be a landing page for all of the coaches to spend most of their debriefing session on. And if you decide to go into more details, you can refer to the subsequent individual pages. So this page has two main sections. is the bar graph at the top of the page and at the bottom of the, te um, the page is the interpretive text, uh, which talks about the misalignments between natural preferences and demonstrated behaviors. The next section is the mental function section. Um, so we try to redesign and reorder of all of the original pages for the mental function part. We um, simplified the content. Also, we added more behavioral examples and we made the format to more bullet points. So you see these sections, all of the language has been uh, simplified and, and we added more, more tips and practical ap application uh, to this section of the report. So we're hoping that we um, solve the problem of complexity of the mental function section uh, for the clients um, with applying these changes. The next I'm going to talk, to, uh, talk about the order of the pages. So originally we had overview of functions and overview of flex index. Then we went to the individual pages for overall functions and mental functions. And after that it was flex index and type and flex index integration. But in a revised version, uh, we have the overview of overall functions and overview of mental functions first. Then we group the perceiving and judging uh, information together. So for the perceiving, you see the overall perceiving and then intro, extra perceiving. And uh, the same thing for judging. And after that, it goes completely to flex, flex index section and type fl and flex uh, integration. Also, we received the feedback, you know, that is difficult to understand how type and flex interact with each other. We saw a need to explain how flex index is related to type development. So we added a cover page that talks about the, intera um, the interaction between flex index and, and type development. And also, uh, we revised the type and flex index um, inter integration table. So. Um, the new type and um, the flex index integration has completely um, different approach. So before we were seeing within function flexibility across function, but what we did, we kind of combined each mental function with uh, five flex index uh, subscales and we provided a tip on how to improve both of them at the same time. And we are hoping with these changes, and uh, now it's easier to use this page. This page is less technical, and we added more practical application to this page. So this is the summary of the changes that we made to the client report. Now I'm going to walk you guys through the changes that we made to the coach report. Um, so we re redesigned the overview pages for the coach report. Um, in all of the overview pages, now you see the quick summary of the circle score interpretation, response bar interpretation, and also 
alignment between their natural and demonstrated behaviors, whether they're aligned or misaligned, you see a word that uh, points out and highlights these parts. So we're hoping with these changes, we summarize all of the necessary information for coaches. So you guys can access the information easily uh, whenever is needed. Another thing is uh, adding a new follow-up questions for mental functions. Uh, we try to um, rewrite all of the follow-up questions for mental functions so it's simp simpler, more tangible, and more practical. The next is updating the action plan page. Um, so originally we had two different goal setting model and uh, we removed the smart goal setting model from the original one. So now that you guys have only one uh, goal setting model, you can focus and um, focus on that when you're creating the action plan for your clients. Basically, these are the summary of all of the changes uh, to the Peerman reports. Now I'm going to pass, pass it to Catherine to talk about the training updates. Thank you, Elnaz, for all the exciting changes. So based on the changes you have seen, we have also updated all the training material to reflect this. All, the train, all of the updated material can be found in your TAP portal under the Resource Center, under Peerman Resources. You will see all the marketing resources available still, as well as all of the downloadable material, sample reports for both workplace and leadership reports, coach and client, we have also updated the training modules, as you see towards the bottom of the page. There are six modules in total, and all the changes Elnaz has explained are again updated throughout the videos. We now also have a facilitator kit that goes hand in hand with the new Pyramid Personality Integrator Reports. Developed by Heil Rutledge, a leader in the field and president and principal consultant of OKA, the Pyramid in Action program gives you the tools to facilitate interactive session, leveraging results from the Pyramid. It allows you to put your clients' results into action and allows participants to really gain a deeper understanding of individual personality type and its connection to teams or leadership position. It also increases the understanding of flexibility and its role in decreasing strain when natural preferences and demonstrated behaviors don't really align. It provides insights to strengths and areas of development and allows participants to create an action plan using what they learned in the session. This is available directly through your TAP portal. If you click on the facilitator kit icon towards the bottom of the page, you will be, you will be brought directly to our mhs.com page to purchase this workshop kit. This kit includes both downloadable material as well as physical posters and cards that will be sent to you. It includes both team and leadership activities. So please, if you're looking for something to use with the new PeerMim reports, check out this facilitator kit. So this brings us to the end of our session today. Thank you everyone so much for listening. We hope you enjoyed the webinar. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your partner relations consultant. Thanks again.